cheese and chili rasada. Munchy come cheese and chili. Sri Lanka's second game of the Super 12 round in the ICC Men's T20 World Cup is set to be played on the 28th of October at the Dubai International Cricket Stadium. Lankans will face the old nemesis Australia, who've also had a winning start to the Super 12s. Sri Lanka will be riding high having won all four of their World Cup games so far and will be particularly pleased with their batting performance in the last game which saw them chase down 171 against Bangladesh. Australia, on the other hand, had a bit of a nervy start to the tournament, defeating South Africa by five wickets in their tournament opener a couple of days ago. The teams have not faced each other in any format for nearly two years and it seems like a lot has changed since they last met in T20Is. The head-to-head -head results between the sides are even, However, Australia have won the last four encounters against the Islanders. It seems like top-order troubles have plagued both sides of late, but while Sri Lanka have shown some promising sides in the last couple of games, things seem dire for Australia. Both Pathum Nisanka and Charita Salanka got some much-needed runs in the last game, but a cloud still hangs over the most experienced batter in Sri Lanka's lineup, Kusal Pereira. Pereira has not made any significant contributions in the format since returning to the team after recovering from COVID, but Australia will surely have their eyes on him as the big wicket in Sri Lanka's lineup. The Aussies have problems of their own at the top of the order, with captain Aaron Finch and David Warner struggling for runs. Neither comes into the tournament with any semblance of form, however, both enjoyed facing up to the Sri Lankan bowlers in the last series the two teams played each other in and so, Sri Lanka will not want to take them lightly. Much has changed for the better in the Sri Lankan bowling lineup since that series, but Mahish Dikshana's fitness will certainly be in focus come Thursday. Where the richest offerings of nature are turned into a finer form through pure craftsmanship. And I'm not talking about the sapphire on my ring. Lanka Tiles. Designed for you. Desired by the world. Sri Lanka will be quite happy with how things have panned out so far in the tournament in terms of personnel. However, one does feel that things are only going to get harder from this point onwards with some big games coming up. The bowling has been the talk of the town during the first half of their tournament, but all the batters, barring Kusal Pereira, have done their part to contribute the team's success at various junctures so far. Pereira will likely be given the long rope considering the impact he could make on his day, so expect no changes on that front. Mahish Thikshana's fitness will be key to Sri Lanka's balance as a bowling unit. He is expected to return to the side after being more or less rested for the game against Bangladesh following a side strain he picked up against the Netherlands in round one. This would mean that Binura Fernando will be benched after an unimpressive performance against the Tigers. Following a winning performance against the Proteas over the weekend, it is unlikely that Justin Langer and Co will make any changes to the Australian side for this game. However, one does feel that this may be one of the final chances for their opening pair of Warner and Finch, with nearly every game proving to be critical in Group 1 of the Super 12s. With five of Australia's top seven being right-handers, Wanidu Hasaranga will definitely be an important cog in Sri Lanka's plans to restrict the Aussie batters. Along with him, Mahesh Tikshana would also be someone to keep an eye on as he returns to the fold after missing the first game of the Super 12s. Australia have not seen the mystery spinner before as he only made his international debut last month but will be wary of his variations, especially as he is likely to be used in the power play against the out-of-form openers. There is no doubt that despite an off day against Bangladesh, Sri Lanka's bowling attack will be key to their success against Australia, especially with two of the fastest bowlers of the tournament, Dushmanta Chamira and Lahiru Kumara, in their ranks. Like Sri Lanka, Australia's strength is their bowling attack too, especially with the resurgence of Josh Hazelwood, who made a championship-winning contribution to the Chennai Super Kings at the IPL earlier this month. Add to that, Pat Cummings, Mitchell Stark and Adam Zampa and the quality of the Aussie attack is undeniable. 
with the bat. Glenn Maxwell is one that the Sri Lankans will definitely have an eye on. Maxwell is someone who can change the game in an over or two with the bat and will be someone Australia is relying on to get them to big totals. The surface in Dubai looked pretty decent for batting during South Africa's win against the West Indies on Tuesday. However, there certainly seemed to be something in it for the bowlers as well, which both teams will enjoy considering the quality of the two attacks. With the weather likely to be pretty consistently hot and humid, and with this being a night game, dew may become a factor, particularly in the second innings as we saw in the game between India and Pakistan. Therefore, the toss may be quite important to the result, with the captain winning the toss likely to have a ball first and look to chase. Ape Kollanda Lanka Ape Ape Chathika Patu Mekarana Dialogue Stay on the ball with the Papara Sports News Alerts. Don't miss out on what's happening in the world of sport. Type sports and send to 678 to register. 30 rupees per month. Conditions apply.